Hi, this is Shiv Shankar again and I welcome you to next part of this video in which we will learn about generation of prime numbers using sieve of Eratosthenes, difficult name for me, it's a Greek uh, name. So this guy was a Greek mathematician who uh, developed this algorithm and it is quite old. You can refer to it in Wikipedia. So. Uh, in our last part we generated prime numbers till 100,000 this time we will generate till 1 million that is 1000,000 so here is first is 0 and second is 1000,000 and then we call this function don't worry about this function as of now so you just think that uh, first and second values are being given to this guy so lower bound is 0 and upper bound is uh, 1 million then we have declared a bool composite of 1000 elements each being 0. Now why I have chosen 1000 is because 1000 multiplied by 1000 is 1000 thousand. And then we iterate from 2 to 1000 and we check whether the numbers are composite or not. How do we check the number? Initially all the numbers are false that is those are not composite. So it goes inside this then we take this variable k which will compute uh, m square so it will become 4 and then uh, what it will do is it will mark that 4 as true and then k becomes 6 because m was 2 so 2 4 6 8 uh, 10 so all the multiples of 2 will become composite numbers and then it will become 3 so 9 12 and so on it is become composite so what we are doing actually is from 2 to 1000 all those numbers which are composite numbers we are marking them that is you write down 0 to 2 to 1000 and then you strike out multiples of 2 then you strike out multiples of 3 and then you strike out multiples of uh, 4 and so on and so you you multiply this so actually you don't need to run this till 1000 if you run it till say I would say 32 this would work because 32 multiplied by 32 is 1024 so we will get all our composites and then now we have all our prime numbers till 1000 actually in the composite so we pass lower bound 0 and upper bound as uh, 1 million and uh, now pass uh, i is not equal to 1 right so uh, let's say it starts from 0 let's skip 0 and 1 so what it will do is uh, say 2 comes right so 2 is not equal to 0 so pass becomes false now here uh, what we do is we go on incrementing uh, j j starts from 2 and then j uh, multiplied by j 4 is less than i right so 4 is less than equal to i which becomes false so it won't enter and then uh, <coughs> we will print that pass is false so this is true sorry pass was true here actually so it will print 2 so for 3 also it will print that for 4 what will happen is j will start from 2 and 4 is actually uh, less than equal to 4 so it will enter this but it will see that it is composite that is it is true so it will not enter that um, hang on so 4 is uh, when it j will become 4 so um, uh, i composite j that is fifth element so it will say that the composite number is actually not that so what you are doing in actual practice is you are striking out those numbers and then you are computing the prime numbers so first you compute up all the prime numbers till thousand and then using those prime factors you are doing the division remainder operation on the i now i goes up to upper bound while j is your composite that is you are testing only with composite prime numbers so this gives a much better performance in terms of uh, um, algorithm complexity so remember how much time it took us to compute uh, that number so let's try how much time it takes to compute 1 million okay 
I think something went wrong. Um, okay. I change this. Let's keep this thousand thousand for now. Okay. So compile this. I didn't save. Okay. This is not the. Uh, this is not the program which we intend to run. This is five. Is five. You see, I have quickly generated the prime numbers. Now we should make it 32. I believe this will run properly. So, you see, how quickly it generates those prime numbers. It took slightly more time than generating uh, um, what you would say 100,000 number. That is because of the screen IO possibly. But yes, it is very fast, faster than uh, what we have seen so far. So there are better techniques also. There is something called a sieve of Atkins, but it is complex compared to this one. Uh, so among the simple algorithms, this is the simplest one, uh, which you will find uh, for generation of prime numbers. Thanks for watching the video.